Hello and welcome. My name is Mr. Isaac Daisy, and you are currently watching my playthrough of Home, a unique horror adventure by Benjamin Rivers. Per the usual, as you all know, I do not have a damn clue what this game's going to be. It just looked cool in, like, the one picture that I saw. So, your game will be saved automatically at certain points. However, we recommend you put aside an hour and a half and complete home in a single sitting, which I will be. I'll just be splitting it up. Don't worry. Turn up the sound. Turn off the lights. I'm sorry, but it's midday, and I got as much as I can light-wise out of the building. So, yeah. All I remembered at the point, or at that point, was finding myself alone. This button? Okay. Oh. Oh, my head. Where was I? It was so dark. What is... There was something by my feet. A flashlight. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Ooh, it is a click and point adventure game? That's weird. Okay, so I click and hold the left mouse button. That house, where was I? I click and hold the left mouse button while using space for actions, it looks like. Dead body. That was a body lying on the floor. Who was it? Why are they dead? Oh, I can, like, that's pretty cool. <sighs> I think I saw it, but it's just so loud in my headphones right now. I don't want to go down there yet. Nah, we can wait. This door! I really don't like the door. Motions. Oh, I can use the arrow keys. Okay. We've fixed the problem. It's no longer an inconvenience. The desk got a computer and some papers on it, and a single drawer. I didn't want to snoop, but... Did I open the drawer? Yes. Receipts, pens, and a blurry photo look like a store of some kind. Why did this look so familiar? Because maybe it's your house. Blood. On the wall. It smelled fresh and sickening. I realized there was blood on my shoes and pants. Oh man, I had to get out of there. No more door. Uh, 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 uh. Look at that wallpaper. I ain't gonna let your house fall apart like that. That was weird. Like, my feet flashed for a second. Did you guys see that? I noticed that I limped as I moved down the stairs. How did I hurt my leg, I wondered. All I could really recall was coming home and seeing, seeing Rachel. I was upset. She looked afraid. I shook my head and tried to clear it. I knew I should head downstairs, trying to find a way out. So who's Rachel? How do you know Rachel, but you don't know who, like, where you're at? Well, I guess he doesn't know where he is. He just... He knows who he is, just not where. The shelf was full of books on local history and hunting. It seemed like the owner of the house really knew the area. Well, I'd hope so, otherwise you'd have a very horrible time at the grocery store. Fuck that. Mm. An old dining table covered in dirty sh dirty dishes for two people. There were dozens of beer cans and other liquor bottles among the dishes. The smell was turning my stomach. What's this? A black and white photo looked like a man like the man upstairs and his wife. I guessed there was no real reason for me to keep this. Did I take it? Uh yes, but I'd like to state if you already don't know where you are, how do you know that this man is living upstairs? I slipped the photo into my pocket. Maybe this would help me find some answers. How long... Uh, how long had this been here, rotting? The man upstairs didn't look like... Oh, I understand. There's a man that's dead upstairs. And that's what he's talking about. Really don't like how squeaky that is. There were scribbles of all kinds of random scraps of paper and notes about some kind of water tower. Did he mean the one by the old train yard? Can I just keep doing this? Okay. Okay, so... 
I apparently run out of searches for this one bookcase. Go back upstairs, go downstairs, or fix the wallpaper. Fix the wallpaper. Let's do that. I hope you're a mouse. Tiny gray mouse. Oh, cool. Was stuck in the trap. It looked frantic, but exhausted. Did I free it? Yes. I hope that doesn't kill me in some way. Gardening tools. A collection of rusty tools. These looked like they were, or they'd seen a lot of use and were caked in damp smelling dirt. Why weren't they in a shed? This place for outdoor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this place was, or this was an odd place to keep the art tools. Oh, what have they been used for? Uh, burying dead bodies. Oh my god, is that you? A photo similar to the old one I picked up. It's been moved a lot. There seemed to be a switch behind it. Did I push the switch? Yes. Uh, it depressed smoothly, or smoothly into the wall, and I heard a faraway click somewhere. Ew. That now looks creepy. Do I need the tools? Do I need to dig up some, uh, some dirt? Or are we good? Or is it for bashing someone's head in? So, far away. You guys hear that? It's like his heartbeat when he walks. I'm gonna go back upstairs. In hopes of maybe that's where it went off. Oh, it wasn't, it was just a drip off the ceiling. Keep forgetting to look up. It, but it's not coming off the ceiling, it's coming off like the middle of the wall. Surprisingly. All right, so it's not in the bloody area. Uh, da, 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 da. My fingerprints everywhere. Oh, he's worried about if he gets caught. Not even caught, but picked up. And he's like, there's this place. I didn't know where I was. Guy's dead, and now I'm arrested. That's where the click was. I don't know, man. Have a bit of the chills. Case of the chills. The willies. The freaky... Uh, the freak outs. The bug crawls. A mirror. I looked in the... Uh, I look like hell. My clothes were dirty and torn and they were... Or there was mud caked all over my shoes. Maybe he has amnesia about killing people. I'm good. The door was tapped. Alright, the door was tapped, taped up, and seemed to be stuck. By the smell, I guessed it led to the kitchen. Switch on a wall to... Oh, that's what it was. The switch on the wall appeared to have unlocked this door. Alright, so this... Looks heavy, but there were marks in the floor. and obviously been moved before. Maybe I found a way out. Uh... I must have moved it, right? No. I left it alone, but I couldn't think of another option. For now, we're just gonna go explore the rest of the house. That's bad. The tape was up there. That is very bad. Very, very bad. Oh, I'm so scared. The bathroom was spotless. Everything had been wiped up to a sheen. I wondered if it was the man's wife who did the cleaning or him. There was a photo developing or devel photo development tray lying on the floor. Someone or some leftover negatives were sticking out, but they were pretty blurry. I thought I saw what looked like treetops. Don't be by the door. Cool. I'm just gonna forward moonwalk our way across the floor. Oh yeah, that's fine. Oh, the front door was blocked by a pile of furniture. I knew I had to find another way out. Oh well, we would have missed that. This is how I'm easing my nerves right now, because we're just gonna dance our way to the, 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 this door. 
Uh, oh, there's that mouse again. Hey, cause and effect. The mouse couldn't have tore that stuff down. There was a sheet of paper all over the kitchen table. It looked like a series of names were written down, but they were too smudged to read. I could only make out a few of the notes. Keycard. Ocker. Probably locker. Last one, I promise. Uh, it didn't make much sense at the time. Dead! Alright, so now we're gonna go downstairs into the... whatever this is. It looked heavy, but marks on the floor. Da, 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 da. The reason why I don't want to move it before is because maybe something wanted to crawl out. And I just wanted to check the rest of the house first. I heaved the box forward and it finally gave. Thank you. Uh, there was a ladder going underground. There was... or er, where the box was. Sorry. Well, it just isn't working today. A dank smell rose from the passage. Did I climb down the ladder? Yes, I had no other choice. Uh, I look again at the photo I found in the house. The couple looked distant, uh, like they didn't want to be in the same picture. I wondered where the wife was. My leg was in terrible shape, but I had to get out. Oh, that's why you can do up, so you can leave, like, places. Uh, footprints in the dirt look like more than one kind. And a lot of traffic. That don't look good. Uh, places all over were marked on the old map of the town. The industrial area near the river, various houses, and even the water tower near the old rail station. Uh, newspaper clippings from the local paper. They were all about murders in town over the last few years. Wait. There were photos. Photos of our house. What the hell was about or that about? Maybe I should have... Looked around more, tried to find some kind of information. But we did. We found nothing. The, ta the work table, covered in papers, dirt, and a handgun. I hate guns. Did I take the gun? Yes, I took the small handgun into my pocket. Its weight was somehow reassuring. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's so dark down there, and the air smelled stale and putrid. I couldn't believe what I saw. What was this place? Now oh, the desk looked old. It's the Bat Cave! The desk looked old and was caked with grime. And on, on it was a stack of old faded paper covered with what looked like names. There were scratched out and illegible notes were written beside them in faded blue ink. I could only make out a few letters. H-E-A I V E Y I see nothing. None of it made sense to me. I can continue going. Or I could some kind of homemade rack slung together with poorly cut wooden rope. It was caked with old blood. Somebody didn't actually use that. Did they? Crudely made shelves. They look like they were holding cans of some kind of corrosive. Some kind of corrosive. The labels were worn and slick, but I still could see the warnings. Go further down, or check this weird meat container. It looked like a cage. It was small, but there was something coating the bottom. Something wet. Blood! Blood of this guy's enemies. They probably weren't his enemies. Of the other victims. It looked... There looked to be bones, half dug into the ground, and the remains looked old. The faded clothes that stuck up amongst the dirt looked familiar. They looked like the clothes that woman was wearing in the photo I found. Was this the man's wife? Oh, oh, that scared the shit out of me. Because this, I was just like, whoa, why is he getting out of the ground? But anyway, that's just me. Just gonna easy walk our way to the other other ladder and go down some more. Now some kind of old boxes. They looked like they were years old. Wait a minute. These boxes had old clothes in them. Clothes I remember. 
throwing out after Rachel and I moved to town. What the hell were they doing here? You getting stalked, bud? Bats. There's a way out. I remember noticing the broken ladder. I had to be careful. Okay, I was expecting to fall through. There was a rope hanging there. I wasn't sure how sturdy it was. Did I take it? Maybe the rope would make that broken ladder easier to descend. Nope. The robot I found and let me climb down the broken ladder safely. Did I climb down? Yes, because we are not going to check that other door. I could hear a faint. Uh, I could hear a faint hum, and the smell from before started to get worse. That hum sounds like the generator, a generator, which is probably keeping these tiny lamps on. A bunch of old newspapers, wheat, wheat pasted together. A message had been hastily smeared on it. Keep out danger due to cave in. Going in. Well, that's loud. Like, that is loud. I could still feel a faint impression of the rope I had slid down as I pressed against the heavy metal door. It was probably for the best that I hadn't jumped. The ache in my leg was bad enough as it was. If I could have, though, I would have run straight out of those awful tunnels. Who would keep such a place. At least I thought I had found that old handgun. It seemed to work and from the smell of it had been used already. I kept a gun in my pocket. It seemed a familiar weight there. It was dirt on the ground. It looked wet and there was grass smeared within it. So we can either go right or we can go up. Right. We're gonna die. I could hear a faint trickling sound like water. What was it? A kitchen knife covered in drying blood. Thinking about how it made me sick, I didn't even want to touch it. Did I take the knife? Yes! I slipped a knife into my boot since I had the gun in my pocket. Did I really need all this? Sorry, there's a bug by my face right now. I don't know why. Um, yes, yes I did. I like to stay prepped. That was a pretty big boom. Door was locked. There was a musty smell from inside. What's this? I wasn't sure, but I thought it was some kind of regulator. I had no idea how it worked. This is going to kill us. I wasn't sure what about those valves were. Did I turn it anyway? Yeah, why not? Ah, uh, next right door. Turn the next valve? Three and four. I wasn't sure what those valves were for. Did I turn it anyway? Yeah. Why not? Still active. Turn it again. Yeah. Go to three. I'm not sure what the valves are for. Did I turn it anyway? Yeah. Still active. Did I turn it again? Yeah. Valve was still active. Did I turn it again? Yeah. Oh, I'm not sure what those valves are for. Did I turn it anyway? Yeah. Really not sure what that's doing, but I'm hoping that it activates some form of reg er, creates the not creates, but causes the regulator to do something power wise. Oh, the dust! I could see the handprints from previous use, probably from those who ever worked in the sewers. Okay. 
well, turning those valves, okay, did nothing. I'm really glad that it didn't let me in there, because I really didn't want to click on that on accident. It's all fine. Going through the exit door now. Turning those valves must have drained the water that was in this room. There was a ladder I could reach. Oh, hey. Are we proactive? Looked like the water drained out of the gate in the wall. Hmm, there was a small metal key floating in a shallow pool of rancid water. Did I take it? Yes. I pocketed the small key, but it was too odd-shaped. I had no idea what, what it might open. Oh man, this is some fun. The safe or the safety poster had definitely seen better days. How old was that facility? Door was locked. I could faint a smell, or I could see a faint light within. We don't need that. We, we just don't need that in our lives right now. Be gone, demon! Oh, there's more blood. I found another dead body, a sewer worker. By the wounds all over his face and body, I figured he'd been stabbed repeatedly. There was a key ring sticking out of the man's pocket. Did I take it? Yes. I thought about the knife I had found with uh, some disgust, or with some disgust, as I carefully picked the keys from his pocket. I was almost worried he was going to grab me. Well, that's the. There was a security camera in that room. There must have been a way to see what happened. Do I really want to know? No. Personally, no. I just don't care to know. I could smell a hint of fresh air. I was anxious to leave, but I couldn't help wonder what that key unlocked. An exposed ventilation shaft. Maybe someone crawled through there, but it was so high up that must have been a sore landing. The awkward weight of the gun and the knife made the climb even more arduous. Would I need that gun or that knife on my way home, or was I a fool for picking them up? I wondered what was in the locked room I passed. Should I have gone back to check? Perhaps I did. Perhaps it didn't matter. I was so eager to escape, I almost bruised my hand, forcing the latch at the top of the ladder open. As I lifted the heavy lid above me, frantically, the smell of that sewer gave way, or gave way to the dank scent of pine trees. I see you, you mug. Okay, so that's how they progress the story to the point where you can't go back. An old ladder leaving, or leading up to the ancient water tower. The ladder needed to be extended so I could climb it. Did I extend the ladder? I popped the latch and brought the ladder down. Those are those bats from before. Ew, ew, not good. In a patch of... Smeared dirt and grass, there was a beat-up old wallet. I thought it was mine. Did I take it? I slid the filthy wallet in my back pocket. I noticed it didn't contain any kind of gun permit. In fact, it didn't contain any cards or ID of any kind. I thought I should recover my credit card and driver's license at least. From the railing, I could see over the woods and down to the entrance of the sewers. Had I come through there before? If I did, someone definitely could have seen me. Maybe he's a killer with amnesia? Arrows pointing this way. I tried the little key I had fished out of the murky puddles in the sewer. It fit, and the heavy door opened. The wind was picking up a bit, 
that night air had become strangely chilly. That was weird. That was like a cricket or something on the ground. Let's go left. It's been a very direct game so far. It's either that or I'm very bad at, like, looking for things. Uh, Alright. The eyes in the woods are starting to freak me out a little bit. Just a little bit. The old train station was quiet as a tomb. The only sound was that of the increasing wind buffeting the dis... Decrepit, decrepit structure. I don't know why I couldn't think of that word name, like the pronunciation of that word. There's a door to our left and a... I like to say it. It's got really nice red hair. Either red or orange, either one. We're gonna go with right, because right has steered us wrong so far. An old map encased in glass hung on the wall. It was the train routes connected to that old station. As I looked at it, it seemed familiar. Of course, the map I found in those tunnels had similar locations marked, and the load I found on the other man's bookshelf. His notes mentioned the water tower and even this train yard. What was he doing coming back here? So it's either outside. We're going to go back left two more doors. Dance a little bit. Feel a little better. An ancient ticket booth was falling apart and covered in dust and grime. Stacks of paper lined the counter, faded remains of the old schedules and reports. Among the papers were newer looking sheets covered in scribbles and illegible notes. Come to think of it, the man in that house had kept similar scribbles hidden on the bookshelf, and he had notes on the water tower outside, too. I guess he could have been coming here, but why? What was he using this old station for? Murder station! Smooth walk our way to the right. Head outside real fast. Bang, 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 Gonna dance our way. Someone's talking in the background. I'm telling you. Back outside. Does that sound like someone rolling a barrel to you? The old train station was ripped open and hanging from a shred of metal as well as the broken fence was a dark stained patch of clothing it looked synthetic like some kind of outerwear inside the train's shell i could see a few faint impacts like wounds could they have been bullet marks was somebody shot there the ground was well worn though i couldn't really make anything out i realized i was touching the gun and i found as i thought All right, well, we're going to go. Shut up, eyes. This is all the time I have for this episode. Shut up. So if you do enjoy this, or if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like on it. If you enjoy what I do and you love seeing my ugly mug on a regular basis, please sub. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, and or complaints, there is a whole section down below for all that lovely biz. But I'm glad that you came today, and I await your next audience in the next video. Have a nice one.